Everett Williams. I'm the Sunbelt Expo Georgia Farmer of the Year. Just glad to have y'all here this morning. We are a family farm, family dairy. Uh, we're in the third generation. I have two sons that are back in business with me and we milk cows for a living. I was definitely born into the business. I was born in, uh, daddy started milking cows in 58 when he was a cotton farmer and changed over to milking cows. When I was growing up, uh, we milked 50 cows and then we progressed to 100 cows and when I came back, I finished University of Georgia in 74, went and worked at a dairy until 78 and came back here and we went from 100 cows to 150. And then since then we just continually added cows and we've added family. This last major increase from about 1,000 to 1,700 cows was after both boys had finished college and they'd come back and were committed to staying in the dairy business. It, it's tremendous. I mean, what better leg legacy can you have than have sons and daughters, both our daughters are somewhat involved, just not full time, that, that are willing to, to share your dream. It's great. In 2012, we acquired a piece of land that allowed us to expand, and the boys and I decided we need to milk more cows than what we were milking, and needed a better way to milk, and we chose a rotary parlor. It has two very good attributes. One is the cows like to get on it to be milked, which is very big, but they willingly walk and get up on it and be milked three times a day. And also, cows are creatures of habit. So we have one man that preps the udder, the next man puts the machine on, and then one man dips the cow's teats in a sanitizing solution when they're finished milking. And those three people stay in one spot pretty much, and therefore the cows are milked in a very routine manner, which is good for them. We got sand that uh, we replenish three times a week. It takes about 50 pounds of sand a day to bed a cow. Uh, the stalls are cooled with, weather, uh, with fans and water. We actually pump water on the backs for about a minute out of every five to help cool them off, and then the fan blowing air on them just cools them even more. The whole idea is keep them comfortable, they'll eat more feed, and they'll be more productive, they'll be more healthy. All of our cows actually have a Fitbit on them. It keeps up with the activity and the rumination, which helps you pinpoint when to breed cows and whether they're uh, moving around okay, and and whether they're eating the right amount of ration that they need to be productive animals. You know, I think one of our secrets is our attention, attention to detail. We watch after all the little details that get us extra pound of milk here and there. I, I just like the lifestyle. Um, it's a lot of challenges, always something challenging to do, different. And it just, what I've always enjoyed doing. And I get to do most everything, anything from carpentry to driving a tractor to building things, just everything you can think of, I, most physical, I get to do.